time to dish with D. That's me. I am getting ready to make my breakfast. And I told you yesterday that what I was going to make for breakfast when I made yesterday's breakfast. So today I am making with my eggnog base, <clears throat> my cashew nog base. I keep calling it eggnog. <clears throat> French toast. But since it's French toast, we're going to stop it because it's not going to cost us any more points. That's a win to me. So you're talking a zero point stuffing. I'm in. So I'm gonna we're gonna make the stuffing first because I have that ready. Because once the French toast is done, we want to eat. I don't know about you, but I want to eat. So I'm gonna show you how to make a quick stuffing for your French toast. You can use this for any French toast, not just this type of French toast. I do this in all my French toasts. French toasts. Yes. All right. Let me let's get to the stuffing, and then we'll get to the French toast, and then we'll get to eating because that's what it's all about. At least it's all. It's all about for me. I don't know about you, but that's what it's about for me. So I'm going to bring you down. I'm going to show you how we're going to make our filling. Here we have our bowl, and we're going to put in there some non-fat Greek yogurt. Now, I am not measuring this because I'm on purple, and this is zero. But if you're on green, you might want to know how much you're eating. It's going to be like a half a cup, give or take, basically. And then we have our sugar-free vanilla pudding. And I'm going to put about a heaping teaspoon. Here, and a little drizzle of vanilla extract. Not a lot. Oh, no, no, I'm not going to do vanilla. I saved my day. I decided to put something else in. Where did I put it? Rum extract. Because this is, after all, eggnog. So I'm going to put a... I think it's a quarter of a teaspoon. Again, you could put whatever extract you want. I'm just want to try the rum because you do put rum in eggnog. Try to be very careful with this because I don't want to OD on it. And I'm going to put a little extra monk fruit because I think I just want it a little bit sweeter. I'm just going to put about a tablespoon of monk fruit sugar replacement in my topping there. And what else do I want to put? Oh, I want to put some nutmeg. Sorry about that, the phone rang. I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon. Now I'm not measuring, I'm just going to put a little bit of a sprinkle. As much or as little as you like. If you like a lot of cinnamon, put a lot of cinnamon. If you don't, then you don't. And a little, little shudge of nutmeg. Not a lot, you like more than by Jove, you put more. This is your French toast, you put in what you like in your stuffing. This is what I'm putting in. You can play around with this. Like I said, spices are your choice. Extracts are your choice. You want to put vanilla? You put vanilla. You don't want nutmeg? You don't have to put nutmeg. You don't like cinnamon? You don't have to put cinnamon. You want to change the flavor of pudding? You can change the flavor of pudding. You can put butterscotch. You could put cheesecake. I'm doing vanilla straight up. So there we have our cream cheese stuff and our stuffing for our french toast yes i should give it a taste because why not mm. yum all right now we're gonna get to making our french toast <clears throat> let me go grab our eggnog and some eggs and we'll get started on dipping the bread because you gotta dip the bread in order to make you know french toast okay let's get started on our french toast dip as I like to call it. Even though there's egg in the eggnog, we're going to put another egg because you just do. And this cashew nog is gonna replace the milk we would put in there. Open this up. I'm just gonna kind of wing it. And put about a uh, half a cup, I guess. Third or half cup, it depends. And just give it a nice little. And we're going to again add a little more cinnamon and nutmeg just to bring home the flavors of eggnog. It's not 100% eggnog, but you know, it's close enough for me. And you could use almond nog instead of making this cashew nog. 
it would definitely work. I'm gonna add a little extra sugar because I like my. I'm gonna do like a tablespoon of funk fruit. Now this is going to probably make more than two slices. It's about a third cup, I think, of the of the nog is what you'll need. Keep it at zero points. But it's thick. It's gonna. It, I might use it all because it's so thick that the bread just might absorb it. Look how thick this is. It was thick before we put the egg in. It even made it thicker. Yeah, I'm not going to put the rum extract in here. I don't think, should I? Oh, what the hell. Let's just live a little, shall we? Put another quarter teaspoon. I say live on the edge. Now we're going to go over to the stove, we're going to dip our bread, put it on our hot griddle, and we're going to cook us up some French toast. I have French toast a lot on the plan. I think it's fabulous and very point friendly, especially when you use 647 bread. Win-win. Let's go over to the stove. Okay, we're going to dip our French toast and we're going to put it on our hot griddle. I'm going to spray my griddle first with some non-stick butter. All right. I'm going to grab my flipper because I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. Um, yeah, you didn't really need to see my arm, did you? I'll grab this one. <laughs> yeah, these never prepared. All right, we have our 647 bread, Italian, of course. We're going to dunk in our... Oh, how thick this is. It's going to make a nice, dense French toast. Ooh. I'm going to carry this over here. Ooh, the sizzle. We'll just do both pieces. Just dunk it around. Oh. Alright, we're gonna bring this over here. Alright, the sizzle. It is sizzling nicely, if you can see that. Bring it over a little bit. Alright. Wanna cook our French toast? We'll flip it and then we will plate it up and I will show you how. How I stuff it. Alrighty, here we have our done French toast. We have our filling. So what we do is we will take as much as you like, because this whole bowl is zero points on the blue and purple plan. So yeah, I'm going to put some there, put this like, like a shingle effect and put some on top because you know, why not? If you got it, flaunt it. <laughs> so we're gonna put a little bit more of our, we'll just dash a little cinnamon on top, just to look pretty, just a little bit. And I guess we should do some nutmeg because it's eggnog. Again, you like more eggnog? By Joe, you put more eggnog. You know, Dee isn't a fan of eggnog. But then she's going to go a little bit crazy because it's a, a little powdered sugar. Just enough to give it a little added something, something. Look at that. I mean, come on. This is two smart points at its finest. And there you have eggnog stuffed. French toast, or you can call it cashew nog, whatever you want to call it. I call it yummy. So let's have a taste, shall we? Because it's not any good, you're going to want to eat it. Okie dokie, artichokey. I did put some ready whip on top, just a squirt. Why not? If you're not having stuffed French toast with yogurt and pudding, you need to. This is decadence at its finest. This whole plate on purple and blue is two smart points. I'm not sure where it is on green because I don't follow green but let's have a taste because <laughs> this is so good I mean definitely has an eggnog note not 100% but good enough for me and it's decadent here you go look at that 
It's like a, it reminds me of like a cream cheese cinnamon roll. It's called cream cheese cinnamon roll. I mean, it's amazing. Look at that. Open up. What do you think? I want to go finish this and upload it. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you make stuff like this. You need to make, if nothing else, make the stuffing, yogurt, pudding, and the monk fruit, some extract, stuff it between your French toast. It's a win-win in my book. Have a great rest of your day. Remember, if, if you enjoy these, give them a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And if you think anybody needs to see this recipe, share it with them. Because who doesn't need this? I'm telling you, this is weight loss journey at its finest. This is the food you should be eating. Have a great day. I'm going to go finish this.